We continue to celebrate Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month. And when it comes to telling stories, the saying goes, a picture tells a thousand words, right? Well, in this case, each of these powerful photos now on display tell us the unique stories of the South Bronx, both the struggles and the resiliency of that borough and the people who call it home. The image is part of a new exhibit at the Museum of Bronx History. With the story, here's Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis. Wow. The images do evoke a reaction. The pictures are worth a thousand words from an era that's often summed up in four, the Bronx is burning. A narrative thrust onto the national stage by Howard Cosell during the 1977 World Series. My goodness, that's a huge place. That's the very area where President Carter trod just a few days ago. But this photo exhibit at the Museum of Bronx History is fittingly called Historias, the stories behind the images. It offers what's often missing when discussing the urban decay that devastated the South Bronx in the late 70s and 80s, context. They showcase the great complexity of people's experience, the richness of people's lives, even during some of the most uh, difficult years in the borough's history. The photos were taken by a group of Bronx-born Puerto Rican photographers known as Seis del Sur, six from the south, as in South Bronx. Some of the pictures were taken when they were kids themselves. My childhood in the Bronx was one of, of laughter and fun. Uh, there was always food on the table. Uh, you know, we had the time of our lives. We just didn't have the resources. This was just a stone's throw for, away from the 180th elevated uh, IRT. Edwin Pagan's work focuses on what he calls three pandemics that profoundly impacted the borough. Police brutality, the AIDS crisis, and the ravages of crack cocaine. People looked at it as if somehow we committed the atrocities that sort of devastated the Bronx when it actually wasn't, right? We were uh, um, a victim of political indifference and, and straight out racism. QR codes allow visitors to hear the photographers tell the story behind each image. And the SACE recently expanded. Two female photographers joined the collective. Abigail Montez's photos are more recent, but speak to many of the same themes. It's family. It's the, the people in the small businesses. It's the children, how they play. It's the, the music that comes from our neighborhood. So I, I see a lot of similarities. Next month, an opportunity for even more stories behind these powerful images as all the photographers will gather for a panel discussion. The exhibit runs through January. At the Museum of Bronx History, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.